Math 142, Section 8.7. We're just going to talk real quick about sketching graphs, of uh, graphing these by hand, these parametric equations. So as we know, t is the parameter, and it kind of runs the show. It like As t changes, it tells you what x is, and it tells you what y is. x and y are both driven by or react to t. So let's, uh, let's make just a little bit of a table for this and see what we can do. So we have three variables, uh, t, x, and y. And let's let t run from negative 4 to 4. Or maybe just the 3. No. Great. Okay, and then we are going to plug these values in and um, fill in our table for it. So we plug in negative 4, see what we get. We plug in negative 3, see what we get. We could do it by hand. We could also do it on the calculator, right? We talked last time about... You make sure that you're in that parametric mode. All right, you can arrow down to that and choose it. And then um, hit your y equals. And I'm going to say, let's see, this was t cubed plus 1. And remember, when you're in this mode, um, you can get the t off of this button right here, t squared. And let's take a look at the table for this. Fill it in, and we get all these values, negative 63, negative 26, right? As that does that. And then we could graph those. Sketch a graph of them. This graph's going to be crazy. But we could sketch a graph of them and get them from there. So again, you can get these values, plugging them in one at a time, going on it. Uh, just to see what this is going to look like, you could graph it by hand. But we know we can also use Desmos uh, to get a sense of what the graph looks like. Uh, what was that? T cubed, T cubed plus 1. And let's run it from negative 5 to 5. Okay, and that's what that graph uh, would look like. Crazy little graph. Now, um, I really wanted to show you if we had something like uh, x equals 2 cosine t and y equals 4 sine t. I would run this, you know, 0 pi over 6, pi over 3, kind of those familiar, um, those familiar values, pi over 4, and so on, and put them in your calculator. Now, the assumption is always with these that you are in radians, right? So you could make sure you're in radians. I am. And I'd say, like, 2 times cosine of 0. Well, I know that cosine of 0 is 1, so that, that's going to be a 2. Sine of 0 is 0, so that's going to be a 0. And I could just keep plugging in my values here. And I could go to graph them all. And just so you get a sense of what this is going to look like, again, I'm going to use Desmos a little bit here. 2 cosine t. One will be a 4 sine t. And here's what that graph would look like. Interestingly, we're not, we're not going to go too deep into this, but cosine is x, right? Sine is y. And notice this 2 is stretching it 2 in the x direction, and this 4 is stretching it 4 in the y direction. Like, you can hopefully think if I made this a 5, it's going to stretch out to 5 now, right? Like, that, that value stretches it up and down, and then this value gives you something, oh, something about the extremes in the left-right direction. So you're going to be asked to sketch some graph of these, um, one thing I do want to point out is that idea of orientation. Notice in this one, our first point is 2, 0. If I plug in that pi over 6, I go back to here, and I'm going to do it for pi over 6. And you could probably, you could get the exact value decimal-wise. It's kind of nice to have it if you're graphing 1.73. So notice that back to that decimal. So, so it starts at 2, then goes to 173. X is doing that. Right, so it's out here, then it's going this way in the x direction. It starts at 0, goes up to 2 in this direction. So if I think back to what that shape looked like, um, it's, you know, a better drawing than that. But it starts at 2, 0, which is here, and then it, its orientation is this way. So when you sketch it, throw those arrows on there to show, as t is increasing, what direction it goes around the shape. All right. This is the shortest lecture of the course. I hope that uh, you give those questions a try and uh, send any, any questions that you have about the questions my way.